It's been a little more than two years since Papio Vision has been to Moving Vets Forward. Here's what's gone on since that time. Since the last time we've been out, we've almost tripled the size of our warehouse. Uh, before we used to have storage units still spread out. We have everything now all in one location. Everything is here, which is great and it's very convenient for the veterans. The veterans don't have to go far to see the wide variety of items available to them. They have more to choose from right here on the spot. We've also built and we have a fully functional rec center where we do a lot of rec therapy with the veterans and their families. Besides finding veterans places to live as well as furnishing those places, moving vets forward goes deeper than the superficial. We uh, do men's group here, we have a church group that meets, um, and then we do some peer-to-peer -peer training here as well. Help for veterans doesn't stop there. Because of the nature of the situation when the veterans are homeless, the family core falls apart. Unfortunately, sometimes children are involved and the children wind up in foster care. Well, we approached the agencies and we now host foster visits here, which is great in the rec room where the kids can be kids, the parents can be parents. Meeting at the Moving Vets Forward Spaces really changed things. They were doing their visitations at either the mall or they were going to McDonald's or in the caseworker's office or the library. We really can't be a family. The kids can't run around and play and make noise. Here, they have the full run of the place, and it's great to see them at least be a family for four or five hours. Don't forget the practical things. And then we have a, a really nice office now in, in a little internet cafe where the guys can get online, look for work, uh, follow up on their benefits online because we know everything is computer nowadays and the guys can uh, order their their medication online. The COVID pandemic had a twofold impact on moving vets forward. The bad thing is a lot of our veterans didn't get the services because the whole system shut down. But the great thing is we were able to come in, move into a bigger warehouse, get the office and the rec room and everything all set up and once COVID was released and everybody went back to work, bam, we had all these new projects and uh, services for the vets. Support Moving Vets Forward. For more information, go to mvfne.org. Find out more about Moving Vets Forward in another Papillion Now story. Thanks for watching. For Papillion Now, I'm Tori Pantaleon.